Wow. See, I noticed that my phone needs to turn on extreme battery saver. Well, my phone camera. Realize it hasn't been plugged in since yesterday. So I did a three hour stream off of battery with it. That's not bad. That's actually kind of impressive. For a maybe eight year old phone now. Pretty good. As is tradition. What are our Pokey loyalty points? 52 loyal. Wasn't I 51 loyal yesterday? That means I only caught one Pokemon all stream. How cool is that? So, what is up, everybody? What is... What is today bringing for you? I don't know if you can tell, but ooh, I am a little out of breath. I practically ran to get to this stream. I'm impressed with myself and my running. <laughs> I'm probably the only one. Anybody else had one of those days before? Where no matter what, you've got more to do. That is me today. More to do. Supposed to go out later tonight. Have a nice dinner with some friends. Should be cool. We shall see. Anyway. My guess is that today... I'm going to do more fake development. Well, real development, but I'm still not a real developer. Well, who is a real developer then, right? No true Scotsman of developers. I feel like I need to spend a little more time on my intro. I kind of always jump right into it and I don't really, you know, just stop and enjoy it for a little bit. <laughs> like here we are. I need to build an opening scene, I think, where it's just, just you and me, whoever you may be. Get some conversation. But I still don't think I'd spend more than, oh, five minutes. And we're at four. I always kind of want to just get right to it. So with that, hi. So what did we do yesterday? Oh, yeah, we built an API to make the bot say things. It is a very insecure API currently. <laughs> Anybody on my network could just say, hey, bot, say this thing. No, Timmy, no. You know, just wondered. If I do a pokey check, does it tell me the last thing? Oh, well, it helps if I spell it right. Does it? It does tell me the last thing that should have been in my channel. Well, that's good to know. Useless, but good to know. I didn't do my Discord trade yet either. I know, just what everybody wants. Tune in and see the streamer on the phone. 
<laughs> Let's see. I got two premier balls. Yay. And oh, I did. I do need to open a new Pokemon window. You would think by now there would be I can just do this. Pop you out and go away. When did I get a grump pig? Oh well, doesn't really matter. I want to trade away still more grass. So let's do that. Are you grass? You are grass. You are now gone. And we got a grass back. Cool. Alright, anyway. More the usual stuff out of the way is out of the way. So we've got our say. If I look at got the participants. Oh yeah, I was looking to do an announcement. I think I do want this right here. Disabled is loading. I think I do want to get this working first before I go in and try to build an advertisement or announcement style thing. I would like to just make it say stuff when I want it to say stuff. So let's do that. So this is the chat form. Form on submit equals, and what do I have here for on submit? That default set is loading. Create something. Wow, what did I do here? <laughs> Okay, so I stole this form from the connection state form. That's what's going on. Like, wait, what? All right, so let's just, we're gonna rename you to Twitch chat form .js, and we're gonna have to, I believe, Are you here? No. Does that mean I actually directly import you here inside the card? Like a dummy? So the app control area, chat control. Oh yeah, messages and then my form because I have my form right here so I can do that get rid of it cubone who doesn't like a cubone we'll see if I do well double it up do both of the things hey I think that means I caught it Yay, free cube cubone. Fantastic. And slow. Well, cool. Onward. <laughs> now we just get rid of you. Control, blah, blah, messages. Events, new message. So that's specifically looking for those. 
Oh, I think I needed the form to be separate, didn't I? Because if I go back into Twitch chat, I have chat messages. Which will return the message list. I guess it's I can put it here. Or I just make... Yeah, I think I'm just going to do the same thing I did before and just combine everything together. So, new file. Then we do the thing where we import the React. I get my keys off here. They're fucking me. It's been a while since I've actually done the keyboard in the lap thing. Like it's, it's a laptop keyboard. Is this thing on? <laughs> it's just it's weirding me out. I'm used to the slightly raised position. And having things attached to me, it makes that difficult. All right, so this brings in Twitch chat. This brings in socket. Do both these bring in socket? No. Why does the form bring in socket? Oh, because again, I'm I'm stealing it. I'm stealing it from something that manages the socket connection. And funny enough, I'm getting I'm getting messages in from a socket message, which means in theory I can send my API request through a socket message, but instead I'm sending them via fetch. Is that bad programming? Probably. All right, so let's look at what I did on this one. On this one, I have participants. Oh, okay. And then I just import each of the things. Yes, yes. No. I mean, it's upside down, but that's basically the thing. AI, sometimes scary, sometimes, well, <laughs> exactly what you expect. I think I just needed to import React. I don't need to use state. I mean, do I even really need React? Let's see. Well, I don't know that I do. So if I do import Twitch chat from that, and then in this card, I still need to get the new message to it. Although, can I just do, if I do this here, cabby, and we go back over here, and we go there. And that's because I don't have any events, I believe, right? Oh, no, I don't have new message because new message. 
comes from here comes from use state. So if I do that back over here, set messages is declared but never used. I don't have use state. That's because boom and actually There, there, and messages there. Now, the question is, does it do the same thing, right? Because that's what we really care about. So, rather than do... Rather than just make a new one, why, or rather than... Rather than edit the existing, let's make a new one. Oops, I need to be a capital card. For reasons. And this time we just do that. Now that's not what I wanted. I want my other one, this guy. Now I have two Twitch chats. Of course, I don't know which one's which. <laughs> We're gonna call you Twitch Chat New. Okay. And if I say something in chat, neither one of them works. That's exactly what I wanted. Why does neither one of them work now? Oh, well, you see, let's just uh, walk this back a little bit, huh? Okay. Module not found. Oh yeah, that's true. That would be a problem. We just change it from my form to Twitch chat form. My form is not defined. Are you sure? Sure seems like it's defined. Components, Twitch chat, Twitch chat form, importing my form. Okay. So something is unhappy right now. Set messages is assigned but never used.
It's something here, break. Let's see. One more time. Okay, that showed up. All right, there's something falling off on the server side. That's okay, that's not a huge deal. I mean, it's not ideal. <laughs> But it is something I'm going to have to instrument for the future so that I can actually see what the heck it, that is. And I feel like it's something I've fixed before. And, but let's see. Oh, I should, that's what I should have done. I should have run that. Checked the dice command. All right. Now on the plus side, it's refreshing the token. Yeah, I left it running all night. Costa escaped. It's saying it was me. All right, so it has to be something in the validation or after the token gets refreshed. Still is not being a happy fun time. Okay. Make sure that that's on the to-do list again. Signing in, signing in. All async functioning. No, do I still have... Um, I guess it's a new one. I think it's, let's see. Check our own records. We already did that. Command stop working at some point. All right. Is there an option? Can I just, re yeah, there we go. Reopen. Been unresolved. <laughs> The handle reconnect gracefully, still don't close old connection and just let it expire. Okay. Chingling and Pokecap check. Dang, didn't catch that one. Um, my guess is that I'm refreshing the token, but I'm not doing anything after that. So I'm not like attempting to uh, refresh the listeners. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, but let's see. Well, I'll just leave it at that. Uh, 
That's a lot of me questioning myself. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> All right. What was that? There we go. I wonder what the X is supposed to mean. I feel like I should know what that is, but... Mm -mm. Hang on one second. I'm getting all of these notifications and it's shaking my whole desk and it's bugging the heck out of me, so... I'm just gonna resolve that real quick. I know, just more of you watching me be on the phone, but instead, now it's a be right back screen. And that's so much better. That was just far more cinematic, wasn't it? Okay. <sighs> so I don't want to deal with the refreshing issue just yet. I'll just leave that as an open issue. That is a problem for future me. Hate that guy. Uh, for now, let's do the honorable thing. And try this again. Yeah, I'm not going to call you announcements control. Why did I just get disconnected from my own chat? <laughs> That's funny. No, let's refresh. Thanks, Twitch. Dashboard Stream Manager. And we're back. I just, you know, kind of rather be able to see my chat. Or at least know that I can see my chat. I guess I can see it in my logs here. Hopefully. Alright, so now I am importing chat from that and my new card is wait well, that's not what I want like I want one more tab <laughs> I don't want okay there that's not It, the downside of AI and tab completion. It's like, I want to indent this by one more. Although I don't know why. Nothing else is indented one more, so. Class name equals, and, oh wait. Pump. It's not app control. This class name is uh, new chat. <laughs> yeah, descriptive. Okay. We are going to need something to actually say it though, right? Mm 
we say new Twitch chat. All right, it looks the same. Does it act the same? It do not. Do I need to still dump this into it? That's probably what it is. I need you to go into it. It still doesn't accept it, though, and that is because I don't think I have it written to do so. So, like, Twitch chat actually has it here, right? Oh, no, wait. So, Twitch chat form. No, that's the chat form. I need chat messages. Yeah, messages actually accepts events, whereas Twitch chat does not. Export function messages. So I just need to kind of do the same thing, right? Just copy and pasta because at the end of the day, I'm just forwarding it down. Thusly. Hey, what do you know? Just immediately starts working. Cute. I mean, it's kind of silly that we're passing a variable through multiple functions, but, you know, for the sake of neatness, it doesn't look too bad. All right. So now we can get rid of old Twitch chat, I believe. Oops, we can get rid of the whole dang thing. Because we only need one chat window. This window ain't big enough for the two of them. And we can get rid of my form. No longer needed. And massages. No longer needed. I'm kind of okay with this one being like this for now. Because honestly, it doesn't do much. <laughs> oh, but I do want yeah, participants component. We'll just call it that. Why not? Does it matter? No. Does it make me feel better? Yeah. I would much rather be able to see it. And a little bit early, but... I already drank up all my water. I did say that I basically ran to, to make this chat, so I might have to call it for a sec and go grab some more. When I said might, I mean, I am going to.
Hey. As though I'm surprised to be here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, we made our new chat. But what we didn't do is we haven't hooked up our chat form yet. Uh, before we get too far, let's do... this updated chat card to be self-contained container why are those still gray oh because there's things that are Defined but never used. No problem, no problem. Actually, yeah, I don't need that anymore. Right? Let's see. I mean, it doesn't look like it. Answered my own question. Sweet. Now we need. Yeah, you know what? I, I, I need to get rid of this my form crap. Hitmonchan. Pokey catch. Pokey check. Dang. Didn't catch it. All right, we need to, yeah, this my form crap has got to go. It's going to be called Twitch chat form. What's the problem with Twitch chat form? Oh. That was odd, but okay. Probably something that got added by AI. And if it wasn't, I'm blaming them anyway. Them, it, whatever. You know what I mean. Um, in the chat form, I don't need the socket anymore. Because in this instance, I'm going to be changing on submit... To just send the message, right? Like all of this can kind of go. So it's returns chat form. The form is. What do I have for on submit? Oh, I have a function on submit. We do. I don't even think I need to go this far. Get rid of this. Actually, get rid of all of this. We get rid of buckets. And I think just on submit, what I can do is. Don't use fetch enough. All right, come on, where is fetch? Fetch, 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 fetch. Where is something else that I do it? The 
messages come from sockets, so participants. Oh, of course, I don't use. <laughs> Fetcher equals args. Fetch args then. Okay. Well, there's no reason for me not to use SWR, I guess. I've already got it installed. So let's do it the same way. So, boom, boom, boom. But this, in this case, we really don't care. So we want this, or I mean, we don't really care about the response, right? Kind of, but you know, that's that's for errors, messages. We don't care beyond that. We need either of these. And actually, we can get rid of you. And you can go away for now. Just to get rid of the error messages. Although it claims there's still an error message. That's whatever. All right, so we need this layout. I do actually like the way that this looks. It just seem it seems pretty straightforward to me. In this case, all we really need is Oh, I think I still I do think I still need the function I need the on submit function still. Right? Let's just see. If error, then that. Okay. Is validating. Okay. Get rid of this just because. I don't want to do a console log. We'll figure that out later. So it's sending data users and it's returning, or no, it should be returning data users by hitting that API address. Okay, SWR is the wrong answer. What did I miss there? Yeah, I'm not really fetching data. Stale while revalidate. Okay. Yeah. Take it all back. I lied. I lied to all of you and I'm terribly, terribly sorry. Okay, maybe not terribly. Let's just roll this all the way back to on submit. I'm going to get rid of all of this fun stuff. All 
And I do think that I can just do on submit. Because if I look at the way that this is being submitted, it's submitting the body. Right? So. So let's look at how do we send that form data. Let's just not. I mean, this is probably going to be one of those super straightforward things. Use effect dot post. If while the server is running, npm start. Okay, but I want to be able to send it. Okay, so they're just doing that way and they're saying use effect. So if I just do kind of the same thing, import dollar from jQuery, but okay, <laughs> but now I'm using fetch and jQuery. Mm, how about not? Let's just Okay, I've obviously read this before. Uh, obviously. But I'm not trying to get data, I'm trying to send data. object with form data. You need to build your request body by using the form data API. Okay. But I've already got literally using a form. <laughs> ah, here we go. Form on submit. Submit is... Okay. Okay, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. So it's got on submit message, on submit... Why am I using an arrow function? Oh, because it's doing a, uh, okay. Cause it's not, 
like the way I'm doing it, it's not going to wait for anything. Whereas if I do the arrow function, well, I could just tell it to be async as well. For my own edification, and hopefully yours as well. Go into use arrow functions. Arrow functions are a concise way of writing function expressions. That's what it is that this I knew it was I knew that there was definitely a reason. and return keyword, making the code even more compact. All right. So we'll do it on submit equals E. We're going to prevent default. It's not a function anymore. It is a const. With no space. Ooh, star you. Big fan of star you. Do I already have one of these though? Let's see. I think I may have already grabbed one of these guys before. Oh, but I caught this one. Good, fantastic. Wow. I'm impressed. Are you impressed? All right. So now we're doing the fetch thing. But it is it's not chat. Oh wait, is it chat? No, it's say. Right? What did I call the stupid API? Say. Say, say, say. Now, they have method post, but for me, it has to be a get. of the way ultimate equals E I don't have the message Instead of 
arrows here. I need, or I can't just do this, right? Not with an arrow function. Okay, no. So it wants E, so if I do If I just do this, E, and that's it, uh, you're no good anymore. as my form is not found in Twitch chat form. That would be true. His loading is not defined. That's okay. It can still go away. For now. Alright. But I do still have it's my form and it should be import which chat form. My form is not defined. True. Yes, uh, I'm aware my form is not defined. That is because I undefined it. still have it in here. No. No. Are you somehow in here? just didn't realize oh I lost my my chat window so I can't type anything out I only have submit that's fine which makes sense all I have is submit so what all did I take out of here We still want you there. Oh, okay. Get rid of you. Oop, I forgot to open the hacker window. The only thing I'm doing is console logging. Form on submit is on submit. And that is E. Type submit on submit. 
target input can we just search in here for the word test is it highlighted and I'm missing it <laughs> default all right so I got the target dang it how do I get this form data Inform data. Oh, actually, it should be. Oh, but that's the entire object. And really, I don't want all of that anyway. Actually tried to use JavaScript. <laughs> All right, so the function submit form is event, event target elements. I know this is probably. For anybody who does this normally, like, why? Why are you digging through and trying to find this object? It's right there, but it isn't something that I do normally. There we go. So target. input do I need to do target input value or can I just do what was I reading here this is target elements search term so target element Form controls collection named item values. So if I do E dot elements dot zero dot value 
with a single E, preferably. But it's E dot, right? I mean, obviously. Crash. Cannot read properties out of zero. Let's just do this. Undefined. Why is it that I'm looking at it right here? Oh, I'm not. It's... it is e dot target I think it's still target element value but oh no there we go okay fine be that way <laughs> so if I do if your ID oops ID equals chat input so does that make this like that i think it does if i remember right Ooh, okay that's what i want i'd rather have it uh hypno what is a hypno well i didn't catch it so i don't know it is kind of unfortunate doing it in text. It's kind of like, um, what is it? There's a little bit more of a requirement of going back in your memory and saying, what was that working on? All right, so what we need here Is that is that enough? Is this thing on? <laughs> no. Build execute fetch on window. Get head method cannot have body. Except according to this, it can get with a body. Fail to execute fetch on window. A skit head method cannot have body. see what this says notably elastic search etc HTTP allows a request body on get syntactically so that message parsing is generic it doesn't say that a body has any meaning on a get Reservation. Let's 
so does that mean in theory I can just change this from an app get to an app post? And then I change this from get to post? No. Because I get the 200. But it never comes. Oh, wait, it did come through. Okay, I lied. Or I was lied too. Why did it seem like it didn't work the first time? Oh well, whatever. We'll ignore that for now. Oh, let's go back to the thing that we were doing. So, method is now post which is completely acceptable when i get the console log it just doesn't actually send it okay Right, let's go back to the thing that we were looking at. Reload. That's odd. I reloaded it and it reloaded there too. Okay. Sake of argument. It claims to send it. 400 missing required parameter message. Okay. Seems to me like it's there. <laughs> Although, actually, it is just right now it's sending body.message. And I think if I look back at my silliness, I am already breaking it out, right? Rec, yeah, body dot message. So that means here my post is sending the body. Well, no, that should be fine though. sending a body and it's saying add message and make that the message all right let's go back over here and see what they're saying what they've got
Wait, well, it is saying maybe I need to do just that. No, it doesn't like that at all. Missing required. All right, for the sake of argument, it'd be funny if this is it. And if it is, then fine. I'll take it. don't even need to do that. I can probably just do this in this case. Well, I didn't send it. Still said it's missing the parameter message. Yeah, I didn't think so. That'd be too easy. <laughs> do the old console log in it, right? But why, are, why aren't you? What's the problem here? I get that it's missing it, but I told it to log it. Missing required parameter message. Okay. Okay. At least it actually sends it. Is it in something else? Instead, just say message and I change your ID to be 
message. Origin refer, don't care. Body is empty. Why is body empty? Yeah, this was why I ended up going the other direction a moment ago.
I've been talking to mute since my last drink of water. I should have known. All right, so. Now zombies speak. Sweet. Although, I want it to clear that out when it's done. Um, let's see. Clear form after submit. But without... Also, as this button is given the ID submit, it will cause a conflict with JavaScript submit function. Form equals that. Using reset. So submit. So I don't actually have a form in here. Oh, but instead of JavaScript, I need to do. Default city is this. This domain doesn't refer to the input since the input is an ID. ref equals ref this main input equals ref okay so in theory it's just in here although it doesn't have this Not use state. Or is it? It says set state. What do I need to say? Boom. Oops. Crash. I mean, it still sent the text. <laughs> uh, so what was the thing? I cannot read properties of set state. Do I need to do this? Like that? Maybe 
because it's an arrow function. Like that. Nope. No, maybe. Nope. <laughs> React Webpack imported set state is not a function. Okay. Go back over here. And update the value in state. Yeah, see, I'm using an error function, so I don't have this. So can I just do that in here? E.target.reset, right? I mean, that's basically the same thing. There we go. That's it. Basically the same thing. Maybe not every single solitary s syllable. But yeah, basically I set them. Cool. Okay. So now it clears out. I'm still not actually doing any of these things. That to me right now is a bit rougher of a... Uh, that's a more difficult proposition than what I'm doing right now. So I'll circle back on that. But. Well, now I've still got a little water. Okay. I'm trying to decide if I want to start the next activity or not. You know, I'm curious. It shouldn't listen to a command from itself, right? Oh yeah, because I have something in place for it to not. Oh, I gotta get rid of all these console logs. <laughs> Let's do that real quick before I forget. All right. Welcome message received. I hope that session ID being shown isn't a problem. See, Mawile, I definitely remember, but that's just because it's so stupid looking. Did not catch, however. Uh, you know what? How is my, what is my current inventory looking like? I'm down to five. Maybe I buy a couple.
Cool. There was something else I was going to look at. What was I looking at? What was I thinking of? Oh, well. Okay, so let's let's just update that. Um, let's see. So we added and validated function. Post. Why is it still saying that there's an issue with this or in here? Well, yeah, we're not using use state, so that takes care of that. We're also not using use state here. Like I said, it, some of these. Like here, I think I actually do need React. Or do I? Oops, wrong button. I mean, it kind of makes sense. I don't need to be Yeah. I don't need to keep importing React. Do I need to even here? Because I, I import it at the end of the day, right? Kind of a monkey see situation that I was just like, oh yeah, definitely. Like I'm not, but I'm not actually using it in any of these. SWR, does SWR require React? Pretty sure this doesn't need it. All right. just commented out but whatever I still can't drag these around I mean I can drag them around but you know what I mean <laughs> ooh, ooh. just talked switching back and forth between mute and not mute perfect I wonder if I can make the computer vision I'm already using <laughs> to draw this just say hey your red lights on dummy Would be nice. Can 
close, 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 close. And we're going to put you away for now. Now, what I am going to want, I'm basically going to want this, right? I'm going to want a list of lines and then maybe a checkbox to see if they're active. This might be the first thing that needs like a separate configuration maybe. So let's kind of lay this out real quick. Actually, now that I've just done some cleanup, I do have enough time to go and grab some water. Be right back for reels this time.
Yeah, that calling react a million times thing. I, <laughs> when I first started doing it, I was like, it doesn't seem right, but it's in the example, so it's got to be right. My fault. Question authority. <laughs> All right. All right. Where were I? We were on to our next one, which is the announcements. All right. So we're going to have an announcement container. In this container, we're going to need a div we're not going to want an announcements title bar well I mean we are but not here so this will be announcements list And then maybe settings. Do we set the do we set the time of each announcement individually? Or is that just a setting? Yeah, we're gonna have uh Last name in this case, it's going to be announcements uh, uh, order, and then we'll have announcements, not message, but this will be uh, timer. Yeah, okay. So the idea is going to be that this is going to be a list of forms or a list of, of text inputs. list of text inputs a list of well a list of text inputs or what to say a checkbox to enable disable Oh, and then also, er, sorry, huh? Pokey catch and pokey check. So, checkbox to enable, disable, or each. Uh, text box. And then what maybe so we can have a text box that says what to say and a check box. Oh and then uh at the bottom a button to add a new this realistically should all be something that is handled on the server side so it should i think i talked about this last time uh yesterday i'm gonna have to make another chunk of the database server side 
and this is going to just read that list of options or that list of uh yeah the list of announcements and create a so maybe they're not text boxes because i don't think editing them live is valuable see that's that's why we do this uh fake layout fake i don't know thinking through it <laughs> just going hey what do we do what what are we trying to do and does it make sense notice this is the first time i'm actually bothering to do it all right so that's this is probably going to be my first kind of complex functionality all right so the announcement list is going to be a uh, list of announcements read from server API. A checkbox for each to allow for editing and deleting and a button to add new announcements. That'll be the list. The order uh, it's not going to be a button to add a new, nor is it going to be the timer. Uh, ordering options for announcements. So I'm thinking my, my vision of this is that if you have an announcements, you can set it to just randomly select one. Um, you can do them in order, just as is, like uh, rotation. Inline rotation. Um, I do want an other. At some point, I would like. Well, I mean, my goal is at some point to start using the the messages that are in chat as a sort of uh, sentiment analysis, and then feed that back into uh, responses. I think that'll be kind of fun, actually. Well, maybe fun for me. <laughs> I hope it's fun for me. I'm mostly talking to myself here. Uh, all right, so randomly select inline rotation. What's another way? I mean, I could just say uh, TBD. I'm sure there's others, but I can't think of any off the top of my head. And... Uh... Time refer announcements. Maybe in minutes. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of going to be everything because it's it, the idea is just, you know, every 15 minutes say, hey, have you checked out the Discord? Or every half hour say, well, actually, no. Timer in minutes. Or maybe uh, it might be nice to have it randomize. 
within a time frame. I mean, that could be just interesting to, to figure out how to write. And that's, that's what we're looking at. All right, so the first thing we're gonna work on is the announcements list, which actually is gonna require, can these become multi-line? Okay, good, they're multi-line by default. Um, the first thing I'm gonna have to do is create the announcements list, which is gonna have to be first up a type of data. So it'll be under persist. I think actually, no, it's gonna be a model. Got auth, config, message, yeah. So we're gonna make a new file here. This is going to become uh, announce.model.js. We're just gonna be capping and posting, really for this portion of it. Define, and in this case, instead of key data, we are announcements. Am I gonna have to have a separate option for announcement settings? I actually don't have, I have a config I guess I have user options, kind of. No, it's it's definitely a con it's one of the config items. Have I really not put any I haven't put anything in here yet, and I'm still calling it key data. All right. To do, we're gonna have to make a configuration file <laughs> or a configuration data. Actually, right now I'm pulling config, I think still from here. In some cases, I'm still using this file, I believe. <laughs> I'll have to validate that. Uh, all right, so announcements. What are the things that we need these to have? Uh, we're, we're not worried about a tag. Well, we're, we kind of want... Do I, do I want a tag per announcement or do I, am I fine with just an ID? I'll keep tag. We'll say tag, uh, message. We don't need a token. Oh, you know what we could do though? We have a tag and a message. Maybe we could have a um, what's the word? When you're putting out a a, a list or a group of commercials, it is a commercial campaign. Because then, in theory, I'll, I'll at least in theory, at some point, have the option to just say, this is only running from this time period to this time period. Don't do these announcements outside of it. And then maybe they can delete themselves or maybe, you know, it just 
automatically changes up the messages for, hey, it's Christmas time. Hey, it's 4th of July. Hey, it's, I don't know. You pick. Uh, and yeah, an expires in is useful. Refresh token, not so much. But maybe started on. Also as an integer. So tag message campaign expires in. Maybe for the sake of argument. I mean, we've got, we've got tag kind of, but if I do ID as an integer, Actually, I think sequelize has an incremental. In order to increment increment uh, values of an instance without running into concurrency issues, SQLite provides the increment and decrement and decrement decrement. I don't know. You can also increment multiple fields at once. Okay, but does it have? Oh, wait a minute. Um, I want... I don't know that I can... Will that work? Browse data? I just want to make sure I don't accidentally you know <laughs> try and show off my key data because that's the first thing that pops pops open um options okay so it keeps an id for each one on its own so let's just get rid of that because I can use the ID to randomize it, I think. Yeah, it's good enough for me. Hound door, quick, before I miss it. Didn't catch it. <laughs> Hurry to catch it. Didn't work out. All right. One thing I'm, I've been kind of interested in figuring out still is, is text to speech. I know that I can just use something that exists, but I mean, <laughs> we're here, aren't we? Some of us are. All right. So that should be enough. Now, from the API side of things, I'm, I'm beginning to think I need to start breaking this up a little bit. So I do already, don't I already have like a views and routes? Although 
the entire purpose of going over to a separate client. Yeah. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> I mean, these are all super simplistic, but... Like, I have followers and chatters. Realistically, this is... This should be... Users slash, right? Maybe I'll change that. But, like, I, sh I should definitely have separate routes here. Or separate folders for this. But whatever. Next... I mean, we can talk about it all we want, right? <laughs> but if we just don't do it, isn't that way better? Uh, so this is going to be, first thing, we want to app.get. This is going to be uh, slash API slash... It is a chat, technically. And actually, I should put say under chat as well, shouldn't I? Um, announcements. Async res. Yeah, we don't really need to do any of that stuff. I don't believe so. Ah, well, I should say not yet. Well, no, we are because we're going to have to use say. And it's a little self-referential, although I, I don't need to use say. So this is going to be get announcements. Then we're going to do... Uh, app.post... API chat announcements. And this is going to basically say, uh, add new announcement to database uh, I should do is it better to do like new delete Or I can always just send those as parameters too. Then that turns this into one, into a monster of a, of a thing. But that's okay because I can do all of the stuff somewhere else. Because realistically, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to have to create something here that does the watching a timer and sending the, sending the chat messages. So that's fine. This is fine. It's all fine. All right. So this is going to add a new, so for post, it can add a new You can edit an announcement, or you can delete an announcement. And yeah, we'll just, no matter what, let's always send 200 OK. The best, right? I need to do a little more here than just say, 
Everything's okay, no matter what. Where's the sorry? <laughs> Res send new buffer. Wahoo. Sorry, can't find that. Okay. Fun. All right, so we're going to have git, we're going to have post. And realistically, in each one of those, I can also just check to see if delete is on there or whatever, right? I don't know what... All right. What is the the current uh, API crud? Wait, crud versus rest? Uh oh, I was like, wait a minute. What do you mean ver versus? <laughs> I thought rest was just another way to do crud. Um, well, there are two different concepts used in API development that are important to understand. RESTful services use HTTP. Get, post, put, and delete. And data is typically in formats. Okay. CRUD operations are stateful and can be resource intensive. REST API calls invoke CRUD operations. <laughs> when when this stuff happens, or when this is like laid out, I mean, we, granted, this is an AI, right? This is not a person. This is, but it is written like this, and that's why the AI is doing it this way, where it says that REST is generally faster and than crud and crud is more resource in intensive and the relationship is that one uses the other like is it more resource intensive if it's what it's using i don't understand <sighs> here we go now i want an api design recommendation this is an 11 minute read and it is Five years old. Actually, here we go. Get post put patch or delete. Okay. So import express, app is blah, app use, app listen. Okay. So they've got a slash, a single record. Actually, I should be looking at it that way. Insert a new record is post. Okay. Update would be where I use the ID. Okay. Partially update. And delete. And 
if I look at Postman, I have get post patch delete. Okay. So let's look at this from the, the proper perspective. So I have get chat announcements is get announcement list. I don't think there's a situation where I would just get one and out. Well, no, that's not true because I would, if I want to edit one, I need to get one first, right? And then update it. I don't need this yet. I don't think I'm going to need it at all, but that's fine. Uh, let's add a res send 200 to all of these. For now. One second. So we're getting the announcements, we're getting, we're posting, and uh, if we post, then we're adding a new one. Oh, then we also need app get, app get, okay, app post. No, this would be... No, it's not update. If it's post. What else would I do with post? This is going to be... Update an announcement. Delete an announcement. So that makes a little more sense. We get everything. We get one. We post new. We put, that's an update. Or we delete. I'm not going to patch. <laughs> All right. So with that being said, first thing we need to do is let's get all of the announcements. So to get all of the announcements, question am I going to go create another file that has all of this functionality or do I just bring SQLize I think I've already got SQLize in here do I I do already have SQLize oh I need to add persist handle data I need Mm 
models. Oops. And this is the announce model. I'm actually wondering if it would be easier to attempt to attach the options directly to each announcement. Because it would be kind of nice to have priority and waiting, right? I mean, be able to say, hey, I want I want this to come up more often than that. Let's see. Let's go back to models real quick. So if I do um, options, this is going to be a type of oops. data types dot Jason. Because then it can basically throw anything I want in those options. As long as I can read them later, right? Okay, so we'll leave that as is. Handle data has the announcement model. Cool. I think I need to restart it to get that created. Yeah. So let's do that. And try not to, no, oh, well, okay. I haven't actually sent anything to it. That's probably what's going on. All right. But we've got a model. We have a model for the future. So I've already got SQLize. So in this case, let's start with, instead of get, let's start by adding a new one. So we need to uh, first and foremost, obviously. <laughs> then we need to use sequelize. Sorry, I haven't used SQLize in a little bit, so I'm kind of SQLize.models. SQLize.my I think it's find or create. No, it's not commands. It's there we go. Am I still using this? No, I'm not still using this. I'm using this. Is this the get user ID? No. Which chat this is what I'm using. Okay. So where is this? That's the send shout out. No. Uh, 
Hey, wait a minute. When my phone frees up. Chat's not available. Lies. Lies and slander. Because of it, I missed a sunkern. Oops. Like I would have caught it anyway. Wait a second. Did? Fine, fine, fine. The Twitch app is wonderful. It's great. You should really use it for all of your twitching needs. It's the best. There we go. I don't know why it decided that was the time, but it did. All right, so I'm not doing send chat. Oh, is it in WebSocket? Yeah, it is in WebSocket where I handle the WebSocket mech. I just sniffed in your ear. So sorry. Boom. Message handler bundle message. Find or create. Okay. Yeah, that's what we want. Well, but we don't really want to find. If we're posting, we're creating. Right? We're sticking with that. SQLers dot models dot announcements. Dot create. We're not going with that. <laughs> Uh, we need some definition of what actually comes through. So, especially since we do not have any authentication still. Um, well... Or do I just send it? I mean, it should fail. Sequelize should fail on its own if I don't do it right. So if my API is post uh, API slash chat announcements and my body is, we're just going to say message is testing this. I mean, it should fail because there's not enough information. It logs it, and then it tries to create it. I'm not getting anything from SQLize about that, though. All right. Um, I think I need to refresh. Where is reload? 
patch open. I thought it had reload like right here. Let's close. Let's open our recent one. Oh, now we have announcements. All right, so drag you down here. Hopefully when I browse data this time, announcements will be at the top. Nice. Okay. So I need to define a tag. Campaign expires in started on. And if expires in is null, started on should always be today. Right? Or should I have the ability to do stuff in the future? I mean, we're living there. Might as well be able to do something with it. I, can't, I don't think campaign should ever be null. It should become... I should add a default to default. I think... I remember right, there is a... There's a choice in there for default. Yeah, default value. So, Cappy. Go here. Campaign. We do default value is. Um, general. Do I just need to do this? Yeah, okay. Let's make it official. So that way, if I send something and I don't specify, this makes me want to also be able to delete by campaign. That's going to have to happen as well. All right, well, we can now make announcements. Uh, let's get our announcements. Jeng Mo -o. I do not know what this is, so I'm gonna use an Ultra Ball. Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> I have a curious. Can I zoom it? It doesn't get bigger. Jangmo strikes its scales communicate. Okay. Let's go find a better picture of this thing. This might be the final squirrel for the day. Okay, when was, what's this from? Generation seven? Moon, okay. I, you know, I don't think I played Star and Moon. All 
Is it star and moon or is it sun and moon? Uh, 2016, Sun and Moon. In Alola. What were they on? Were they on GBA? Oh, 3DS, yeah. I definitely didn't play those ones. Although, I recognize this guy for some reason. But I never actually got a 3DS. I did get a DS, but not a 3DS. Well. An interesting sidetrack. Anyway, where were we? Alright, so by default we just try to create it. I feel like we should do a little bit more there than just, hey, it's created. You're done. Have a ball. Uh, but I'm not sure what. that is the note it's a little bit early it's been a little early the last couple of days but I'm tired man <laughs> uh, yeah I think I'm calling it So, if you uh, were hanging out and lurking, thanks for spending your day with me. If you were are watching on YouTube and you made it this far, that's mighty cool of you. No matter what, if you think you want to figure out how to do something, just go and do it. I mean, it might take longer. But if you're not doing it, you're not getting better at it. And if you're not getting better at it, you're not learning how to do it. So I think that's, that's where I leave you. Thanks for watching. Of course, we do it this way. I am hoping to have my normal setup in the next couple of days, at the very least by next week. Remember, it is going to be a short week. No game day. I haven't done a game day stream in quite a while. It's unfortunate. I miss it. I think I was playing RimWorld last. I've kind of moved on from that mentally, emotionally, physically. Well, not really. It's a game that I can always go back to. Like a lot of games. Well. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye.